Kenna, huge congratulations on signing a new deal with the club. Just tell me how it feels to extend your stay here for another season. Pretty cool. Awesome. Uh, just to go, you know, just to stay here again and um, hopefully finish here as well will be awesome. When you signed for the club back in 2018, could you even imagine how well it's gone for you on a personal level? No. To be honest, I've always wanted to reach a grand final and win it, but we reached that on my first year here and we fell short. And then the second one was Challenge Cup, but then I was injured. So, but it was just awesome to see the club where it is now and where it wants to go. So it'll be awesome. Year in, year out, you've been a consistent and reliable try scorer for the club. What do you think it is about the way you prepare, the way you work that brings out that incredible level of consistency? Um, yeah, it's uh, prepping right. And, um, you know, I wouldn't be scoring those tries if it wasn't for the plays that the boys do leading up to that try. So it's a reward for all of us and our, you know, our hard work during the game and um, leading and plays leading up to that try. Do you have any highlights of your, your time here so far? So much has happened. We've made a, a lot of memories, but is the one that really sticks out in your mind? Uh, I think every day I come to training is a highlight for me. Um, you know, it's a privilege to walk into these doors and. Um, Play, play my part in this team and uh, and train well and uh, you know play to hard and tough. So I think every day I come into training is a highlight. I think it's fair to say that you're adored by our fan base. I know when this news comes out, everyone will be absolutely delighted. How does it feel to have such a connection with the supporters? Uh, I don't think it will be that special, but uh, nah, they've been awesome. They've stuck by us uh, from when I got here as well. Like when times were tough. You know, they've stuck by us, but it's a credit to them and um, yeah, thank, thanks to them for the support they have given us. And with your level of performance, naturally there's been some significant landmarks for you this season, maybe none more special than it in 100 Super League tries when we faced, when we faced Huddersfield. Just, just tell me how that moment felt. Yeah, it was awesome. I didn't know um, I was going to score that 100 that game, but you know, when uh, Sneedy, was it Sneedy that put the kick in? Brody. Brody, Brody put the kick in. Yeah, can't remember. Too many concussions. But uh, when Brody put it in, yeah, I just thought uh, Chase and uh, hopefully get a repeat set. But um, would have been awesome to score it here back at AJ Bell. But you know, it was good to get against Huddersfield as well. Do you have a favourite try of the hundreds you've scored? Uh, I think all of them. All That's of them. <laughs> have you ever had the chance yourself to sit down and reflect on your achievements so far in your career, or is that just something that you you will do after you've after you've finished? Yeah, I think that will be more after I finish, because I think if I sit down now and start thinking about it, I think um, I think I'll just close up shop and just relax. But I think I'll just look uh, once I finish, then I'll look back at it and um, and I'll enjoy those achievements I've achieved. And just back on the team, everyone sees the special relationship that you have with, with Dion. Not long ago, he, he extended his contract, said to us he was really grateful for how much you've helped his game. Just tell us a little bit about your friendship with him on and off the field. Yeah, he's all right. Dion, yeah, he's all right, bloke. Um, not too bad. But uh, nah, uh, he does everything, you know, to a high standard. You know, second year and um, uh, full time. So, nah, he does everything well and... He likes to perfect uh, everything in yeah, training. But I'm just trying to teach him how to switch off from rugby and you know, know when to relax and chill out and then when to switch it back on and focus again. So, but yeah, he's good. He's all right. He's a young kid, still learning. But uh, no, special relationship with him just because uh, that was me coming up through the ranks as well and just wanted to pass my knowledge and my help to him and then hopefully he can pay it forward to another young coming through. And just about the coaching team, you've been under a few head coaches here and you've played and coached by Chris and Antu, but speaking specifically about roles and the coaching team here now, what influence did they have on your decision to stay and how have they influenced your game? Uh, just uh, everything. Um, how he cares about us. Um, uh, just everything, to be fair. Like, he's a friend of mine off the field. He's a brother. He's been there for me this year as well through a tough year and Haggy and Inu as well so they're like um, my father away from my, my actual dad yeah so I see them as my dads. And how close do you think this team under this head coach is close to achieving silverware? Oh not far off. Um, 
obviously we fell short this year by not making the six, but um, we've got big plans um, next year and I'm sure we'll achieve what we want to achieve as a team and uh, hopefully we get it. We were doing it tough at points last year with, with injuries and suspensions, obviously didn't finish where we wanted to. What can we do in 2024 to take that extra step and qualify for some playoff rugby again? I think it's just uh, what we did this year again, just keep turning up and putting our best foot forward and uh, you know just giving it our all for, you, for our teammates and coaches and everyone else, so that'll be awesome. And finally, just on a personal level, what are your aims and objectives for 2024? Just keep playing, um, just keep being uh, consistent and um, hopefully score some more tries, but we'll see how that goes, eh? <laughs> Ken, thank you so much for speaking to us. I know this news will delight every single supporter and I know we're all really happy that you're sticking around for another year. Congratulations again and good luck for the next season. Thank you, cheers.